So while we were asleep the other morning, mm -hmm. the tractor ferry turned up. We got a call at 7.30 in the morning saying, are you awake yet? I've finished your track. Mm. And uh, look, lo and behold, it's not perfect yet. It still needs a fair bit of work. We need to put the pipes in, we need to put more rock in, we need to put the sandbags up the side, but it's the final part of the track and we can finally get started on it. Mm. So we've got a track now from the front gate up there all the way to the, the top at the start of the, the horse paddocks. Yep. This is what happens at the front of our block when we get 100 mils of rain over three days. Because the water's got nowhere to go, it just backs up into this little creeklet, you, you know, want to call it, um, that just flows out into here and, and just pools. So looking over here, you can see that's where the dam at the front of the property is, but there's so much water, it's overflowing its bank at the front there. And water's just standing around and has nowhere to escape to. Once the water did subside, we started collecting some rock from around the property. There's plenty of it. And we started dumping it down the front to start to create a, a firm base uh, to start to lay a material over. Eventually we will put some ag fabric down and start building it up on top of there. But first we need to clear the area. Here we've just started measuring out a metre from the fence, running some stakes in there so that we can run our string line between those stakes and get ourselves a nice straight line to run the bags along. The string line not only keeps the, the wall nice and straight, but it also allows us to line those pipes up so that we can grade the, the land or, or the, the driveway down to the pipes to make sure that the water runs away. When we had the concrete delivered, uh, the tractor wouldn't lift the, the pallets off. Uh, basically it's got an 800 kilo limit and each of those concrete pallets weighs 1.4 tonne. So yeah, that wasn't going to happen. So we ended up manually unloading all of the concrete bags, putting them underneath the tarp here and then covering our, up so that they wouldn't get water in them, which worked really well because we didn't have a single bag uh, that had been affected by water. So now we're going to have to manually handle all of these concrete bags back onto the pallets and then take them down to, uh, to, to lay them out. You can see here we're laying the, the bags up nice and tight against that pipe so that it doesn't move. There's no wiggle in there and we're just adjusting each of these f this first layer of bags to make sure that they're nice and flat, that they're nice and straight along that string line and that they're butted up tight against each other uh, to help reduce any leakage um, underneath the, or between the, the bags as well. Eventually once they get rained on, like concrete, it's going to go off and it's going to form a nice solid concrete bag wall um, that, that we use as the edge of the driveway to raise the level of the driveway up. It's hard work so Galen and I are taking it in turns to mix the bags up and to also lay them out. Um, it's yeah it's it's heavy, it's hard and it's uh, yeah just just a lot of effort so we, we, we swap this roll around. And, uh, and share the share the load. And we're just about at the end of the day here. I'm just tamping those bags down with my feet, and that's it. The first course of bags has been laid in a nice straight line. Day two, back at it, nice and early. The sun's not quite up yet. 
We got some rebar when we ordered the concrete and I'm just cutting the rebar up into lengths so we can drive that through the concrete bags and into the ground and that'll help to stabilise the wall, especially while it's, it, it hasn't gone off and before we start packing that, um, that, that road base material in behind the bags to bring the level of the road up. Just move that second, oh sorry, the third pipe down to the second one because after seeing where the rain was, was or where the water was flowing to, um, we figured that that was going to be the major point for, for water to flow through once we get all these, these bags down and the wall built up. So once the, we've got enough rebar cut, we take those bars out and start laying them down or start hammering them through. What we're doing here, because the concrete bags do tend to settle out, um, in transport, we're just mixing them back up so that the, the concrete and the sand is mixed back through the aggregate and we get a nice even mix in the bag. And each and every one of those bags has to be done. We went through the entire two pallets at the start of the wall there. We'll show that to you in a minute. Uh, and once we went through that, we ordered another two pallets and that should finish off this one side of the wall. Problem is, the, the arm you see on the truck there won't lift a full pallet, so guess what? More manual handling. So we've got to unload the top two layers of bags before that arm will, will lift the, the pallet off again. Then there's a second pallet. We've got to unload that manually and then lift that pallet off. And then, before I can wrap it up, I've got to move some of those bags back onto the second pallet just to even them up, and get a nice level, um, you know, sort of layer between those those two pallets to to wrap them up nicely and get a good tight seal on the tarp. He said that wrapping Christmas present was wasted time. Yep, it rained. We got a hundred odd millimetres over three days and this is what happened. It needs to be backfilled because all the water's just flowing back there. There's nowhere for it to go out. The aftermath of a hundred mils of rain in three days. While the rain was around, while that water was around, we decided to get in and, and check the levels of these pipes, make sure that the water was going to flow into them nicely. These pipes down here weren't quite low enough, so we started digging them out and getting them down lower. And Gaylene, you can see over the back there, is digging a trench for the water that comes out of them to escape to because that that you know side of the, the pipes is banked up a little bit and it's a bit higher than the, the, the level of the pipes themselves. So that just needs to be sorted out. And then once we're happy with that, the pipes go back in. And you can see there, we've just got to finish off the start of the wall so that it, it, it kind of flows nicely down into the ground. We've got four layers of concrete bags here and we'll go up another one or two layers. And then all those rebars you can see sticking up there will get hammered down so that they're level with the top of the bags. And that's where we've got to so far. We'd really appreciate it if you could like the video and subscribe to the channel. Uh, also drop a comment because that really helps to boost us in the algorithm as well. And keep your eyes open for the next instalment.